Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, my name is Kat. Today I'm going to be doing a review and a time lapse of the Cobble Hill Christmas Puppies Puzzle. Oh my gosh, I think this goes up in the ranks of one of the hardest puzzles we have done this year. So without further ado, let's get on with the time lapse. <music> What did we think about this puzzle? The image was incredibly hard. It was so dark and I don't know if it was just the printing of the images. The pieces are a matte finish which I will be showing later on. I don't know if it was that and just like the weird piece type that made the puzzle pieces almost incredibly hard, barely impossible to see if they fit in a spot or not. 
that made this puzzle so hard. You would be going along, you'd think wonderful, think that a piece fits in the correct spot and it doesn't, or you would just not be able to see in general if a piece went in that spot, specifically really in the brown desk area. It was just so hard and I don't think necessarily the image was hard. I just think that the pieces with this puzzle just did not match with the image. Here is the actual image from the box and you see those lines that are on the image. Those are also on the puzzle pieces. So with the light of our little lamps that we use to puzzle shining down on the puzzle pieces, like I said, it made it near impossible to see really this part. And my mom did this part. I think she didn't have really have a problem doing that. But this part was on my side and it was near impossible to do. Also, there was a bunch of crazy piece shapes, which we don't usually mind the crazy piece shapes. I actually like the crazy piece shapes. That's just how I enjoy puzzling. I don't have a problem with like bits and pieces and Springbok. This one had way too many, especially with the image being darker and not being able to actually see the pieces. I think Cobble Hill had a great idea going with this puzzle. I know that they wanted to incorporate dogs into Christmas because dogs sell well. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I'm a marketing major in college. Babies and dogs sell awesome. Don't think that it was there. I just think that with their puzzle pieces being how they are, dark images are not the way to go for them. Now we will still do Cobble Hill. We love the actual brand. We would just be a little bit more selective on the lighting of the picture on the box when picking out our puzzles to do by them. So here is a section of the puzzle picked up. It did not stay together at all. We had this whole entire problem, the whole entire puzzle, so beware of that. So these pieces just slide right on into the spot, but these are the correct pieces that go into that spot. Pieces that did not go into that spot would also slide right on in into those clicks so keep that in mind so you can see here the weird lines on the puzzle that i was talking about earlier they're also a matte but still sort of glossy they're on normal brown grayish col uh, colored cardboard and they also have kind of like a indent in the back sort of like that it's two layers they're a decent amount of thickness but like I said here, you can see maybe it was where they cut the pieces. I'm not really sure, but that was quite interesting. There was quite a lot of puzzle dust, but I'm starting to think that this amount is probably just normal. So maybe it's normal, but I thought it was a little bit excessive. So will we be keeping this puzzle? The answer is no, we are not going to. We do not want to tackle this one again. And maybe there's somebody out there that wants to. I hope there is somebody out there that is up for the challenge. Like I said, it may be better in daylight. It's just not good for if you puzzle just at night like we do. So therefore this puzzle will be available on our Mercari if you are up for the challenge. Go head over there. I'm Makari. It's Ings1234. I will be uploading it after I edit this video while my video is uploading. So it should already be up on our Makari. On my puzzle hardness scale, what would I give it? I would honestly give it a 10. It was so hard. Like I said, just with the crazy P shapes and the darkened image was just incredibly hard. I don't want to get all back into that. I've already mentioned it. I don't want this video to be a whole bunch of me just repeating how hard this puzzle is, but I definitely think it deserved 10 and I am very particular on what scores I give puzzles, but I think this one deserved a 10. This puzzle was so hard and as you probably saw in the time lapse, I walked away from it. I was ready to put it up. I was over it because I couldn't figure anything out. I was just so confused sitting there because the pieces wouldn't fit in spots that I thought that they fit in and I just couldn't see the pieces. So I just laid there and watched the Christmas movie that we had on and thank gosh for my mom. My mom is an angel. She figured it out somehow so we were able to get this hard puzzle uploaded for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my future 12 days of puzzle content and also my future puzzle content. 
Also, while you're at it, head over to our Instagram, which is Puzzling It Through Life. I did post on our story that this video was going to be late. Sorry if you don't follow us on Instagram and you didn't get that information. Sundays are just extremely busy around here. I just had a lot going on today and we finished this puzzle about midnight last night. So I just had so much to do that the only time I could film this part of the video was tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my video tomorrow. Bye.